Yeah, that's pretty stupid. Call me stupid. You must feel pretty stupid right now. I'll do anything stupid until I get back. It's really stupid. It's stupid. You're stupid. Stupid news. And you batch of stupid news brought to you by Dr. Mink's Mobile Vet Care in participation of February National Pet Dental Health Month. Make sure to book your February appointment now. You're going to receive 20% off all dental needs, large and small animals. And make sure to use only pet safe ice melt is what they're saying now, too. Get a hold of them at 438-4800, minxmobile.com. Stacey Lee, kick it off. What do you got? Well, speaking of snow, snow rage is going on with Snowmageddon. Plymouth, Massachusetts police arrested Bruce O'Brien on Saturday, fired upon a snowplow driver. <laughs> the 60-year-old was drunk when he fired the shots. Good Lord. He allegedly fired because, well, he was mad. He was stuck behind the snowplow mm. in winter storm Jonas. He's a charge with assault with a deadly weapon. Mm-hmm. There always is that. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't get mad. Just be happy. Yeah. And then a bachelor party gone awry. Now, this happened in Ireland. An Irish man and his friends flew to Barcelona for a bachelor party. The party got drunk at a bar before leaving the groom in the bathroom stall. Mm. The bar owner locked up for the night without realizing this guy was passed out in the bathroom. The groom's friends went back to the bar the next day after they realized he was missing. Well, they found him sleeping in that stall in a tutu. <laughs> wow. Must have been a party. It's a good party. Quite a party. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> All right, let's uh, take a little trip to Lakeland, Florida this morning. 31-year-old Alton Trawell was arrested last week on drug charges, and his 31-year-old girlfriend, Christy, wanted to get him out of jail, but she didn't have enough money for his bail. Well, so she turned to the revenue source of only the most hardcore of hillbillies, The one who even think that meth is too mainstream. She tried to make the money by selling moonshine. And apparently Alden and Christy had a decent little moonshine business going on, but the cops already was on to them. So when Christy posted an ad on Facebook for the moonshine, an undercover detective contacted her. She offered to sell him pints of the 192 proof grain alcohol for $20 each. They agreed to meet up in a parking lot and once... She gave him the mason jars of moonshine. She was arrested. She admitted she just wanted to make Alton's bail money. Well, she also gave up her supplier, a 48-year-old guy named Richard Lott, who worked at a distillery. So the detectives contacted him, arranged to buy some uh, wholesale moonshine. Then they arrested him, too. Wow. I have a friend that lives in Lakeland, Florida. (laughs) Do they sell moonshine? I don't know. Uh, They call her. All right. And then there's this, kids. It doesn't matter where you are in this fine country. If your wife wants to get it on and you turn her down, she's going to be mad. Possibly even as mad as these two lovely ladies. There's 33-year-old Rachel Butterball of North Liberty, Iowa. Got home from work around 10. Butterball. (laughs) Butterball. Yeah, she got home around... Yeah, that's her name. (laughs) Around 10 p.m. on Saturday, all she wanted after her long, hard day was to have some mashed potatoes with her husband. But he wasn't into it. So she attacked. She scratched him. She bit him and kept going after him until he got away. She was arrested for misdemeanor domestic abuse. But he got off easy compared to a guy in Rock Hill, South Carolina. Oh, my. He was sitting there watching TV last week with his 51-year-old wife, Sandra. She popped a few Xanax, asked him to get it on with her. He said no, too. So she picked up a pair of nunchucks and started hitting him with them. Whoa. (laughs) I say again, she got in a pair of nunchucks <laughs> and started wailing on him. She was arrested for aggravated domestic violence. A little bit of Monica on my side, a little bit of Tina's all I need. Nunchucks? <laughs> wow. Yeah. Why does a 51 year old woman have nunchucks? <laughs> Why? My point exactly. <laughs> What is she, uh, Bruce Lee watcher? <laughs> or it could have been Chuck Norris. <laughs> None Chucks. <laughs> Look, I don't, uh, I don't endorse violence, violence or spousal abuse whatsoever. No. But I do report the news, and when it has nunchucks in it... <laughs> it's on the air. <laughs> and mashed potatoes in it... <laughs> and well, a drunk I, guy in a tutu. <laughs> we cover it. Yeah. It's important stuff. Because <laughs> that's what we do. Right. Yeah. Get that 
stuff on the pelvic sling done yet? Have you? <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> what? You Dang look? it, I'm not in that lawsuit. Well, I know you went to the restroom, but I didn't know you were checking. Right? <laughs> I checked to see if I had one. <laughs> I don't have one. You, no, you can't. <laughs> 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 Man. Huh. This portion of the broadcast brought to you by TMI. <laughs> Everybody has it. You can get it too. <laughs>